Most tutorials. Today we are doing the chemistry section of our combined science and we'll be looking at matter. So when we are talking of matter, uh, we cannot talk of matter and not mention atoms, right? And an atom is the smallest unit of matter. Uh, it is the smallest particle of an element and uh, these atoms, they can actually take part in a chemical reaction, right? Uh, we cannot break them any further. We cannot break the uh, the atoms. They are the simplest unit of matter, right? So these atoms, they are made up of what we call electrons. That and these electrons, they are negatively charged. They are also uh, they have what we call a nucleus at the center, and inside of the nucleus, we have a neutron and the proton. Uh, a neutron, it's neutral. A proton is positively charged, I'm so you can see the plus signs in the protons. And the another special thing about these um, atoms is that uh, their number of electrons, they are always equal to the number of electrons. So at the end of the day, uh, their charge will be zero, okay? So they are electrically neutral. At the end of the day, these atoms, they are electrically neutral because they have the same number of the negative ions uh same applies to the positive ones right uh the protons and new and electrons they are the same number there so now uh the next thing that i want us to have a look at is the sub uh the sub these subatomic particles to say um sorry about that to say our um, proton where do we find it it's very important you master this the proton is found in the nucleus, and what's the proton charge? It's plus plus one, right? And then what's the mass? It's a positive one, right? Neutrons, we are also we also find them in the nucleus, and their charge it's zero. They are neutral, they don't have a charge. Their mass it's one. What about electrons? We found them, we find them in the atomic shells, and their charge it's negative. Their mass is 1 over 1840, which is 0 0.0005, meaning it's very, very light, right? They are very light. And then we have what we call the nuclear notation. Uh, this will help you. Once you master the nuclear notation, it will help you to master uh, the periodic table, to be able to understand how things are represented in the periodic table, how these elements are shown in the re, uh, in the periodic table. So now, if the chemical symbol for an element is represented by the letter X, X is for the chemical symbol of an element, uh, and then the symbol for the mass, uh, it's represent, represented by big letter A, and the mass, it is written at the top left hand side of the chemical symbol. Take note of that. The mass of a, an element, it is written at the left hand side of the chemical symbol. And then the proton number, right? The proton number, which is also called the atomic number, it is written at the lower left hand side of the symbol, right? Uh, let's have a look at an example. So X... Uh, looking at X there, X is the symbol of our element, and uh, A will be our nucleon number. Nucleon number is the mass number, and this nucleon number is the number of protons and the number of what? Of neutrons inside of our nucleus, right? And then the proton number will be at the bottom like that. So, for example, they give us carbon. The mass of carbon is 12, and the atomic number for carbon is 6. Six is the proton number, which is also called the atomic number. The mass number is also called the nucleon number, which means it is the number of protons and neutrons are uh, inside of our nucleus. So we call it the nucleon number. So with that being said, uh, that um, the nucleon number is equal to number of protons plus the number of neutrons. It means now given... Um, number of neutrons and the mass number, someone might be able to calculate the proton number. Or given the proton number and the mass number, someone might be able to calculate the neutron number. How? Already you have the equation mass number is equal to number of protons plus the number of what? Neutrons. So meaning to say, for example, here, number of neutrons would just be mass number minus 
the proton number, right? For example, we are having um, oxygen. Oxygen has got a, a mass number of 16. So if you say 16 minus 8, uh, 8 number of protons, uh, we get 8 neutrons. So it simply means oxygen has got 8 neutrons, right? As for chlorine, uh, it has got the mass number of 35 and the number of protons are 17. We simply say 35 minus 17 and we get 18 neutrons. For calcium, it's a 40 and the number of protons is 20. So it means calcium also has got what? 20 uh, neutrons, okay? So on our next video, I'll be focusing on the isotopes and um, we'll focus on the isotopes and then we'll take it from there, right? I hope you guys are understanding. I hope we are together because this, these are just the basics of for um, the chemistry section, right? Which is a very long session. So see you guys on our next topic.